what is good youtube welcome back to another reaction video and here we got for you guys today man mac lethal tom mcdonald is a nazi 2024 diss okay so that was one of the things i heard was that tom mcdonald is a nazi was not expecting that when i first seen it on youtube but man does mac lethal hate tom mcdonald um but yeah man this gonna get spooky. I can tell, man. I could tell. I could very tell. Um I never thought this would like this this will come back alive again. But like I said, 2024 is just not real, bro. It's not real. So um this is one of the greatest eras of music that we ever witnessed, though. I will say that though. Cause to go get it getting this again, getting this beef reunited. This is literally on um, round three. Technically, this is round three. This is wild. How long has it been? It's been since 2019, bro. <laughs> bro, all right. Like five or four years, depending on when this dropped, but this is crazy. All right, man. Let's just get into this. It's already long enough. Let's be clear about one thing. You started it, you sneak dissing pussy. <laughs> oh, my oh my God. I thought it was funny too. We already squashed this dude. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. A couple years ago, Tom McDonald got his feelings hurt and made a track towards me. Tried to diss me in a rapping war. Tried to bait me into going back and forth, but I really didn't have the passion for it. So I made one song and I had to ignore it. I don't want to sound rude. I just think he's mad corny. I didn't want to give it energy. A transphobic, homophobic, culture vulture rapping about white supremacy isn't worthy of facing me lyrically. But I'm getting tired of watching this dude embarrass hip hop's history. And the other day he dropped a new song. One thing I always did say whenever I did hear that that beef between Mac Lethal and Tom McDonald. I wish I was reacting during that time, but one thing I knew Mac Lethal was a better lyricist than Tom McDonald back then. It's a little bit different now because watching Tom's progression, he definitely got better with the pen. I will say that. He definitely, there's no doubt about it. He got better. But back then, I didn't think he was lyrically messing with Mac Lethal at all. But it's different now. If Tom does respond, pretty I'm pretty sure he won't though, but if he does respond. It might it's gonna be a little bit different. Song and for some reason he was dissing me. Fine, fight contract sign. Normally I wouldn't pay this any mind, but you made a nine minute song about your personal life. Why the fuck you mention mine? I've been minding my business and buying some property. Why are you dissing me? Why you take shots at me, man? Are you buying prescriptions again? Is it lines that you're sniffing? It's gotta be. Fuck it. Ding ding, let's begin. You got weak skin. We followed each other on IG. We DM'd, we even agreed that we would be friends. Thomas, we already squashed it. Last time I took the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. First off, your music sucks, you're goofy as fuck, your beats are trash I bet a million dollars cash that I could easily beat your ass Your girlfriend is a skeezer with diseases, she got fleas and crabs She used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass No Whoa, 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 buddy, whoa what, what is, What's going on over here, man? What is going on over here? Whoa. I ain't gonna lie. Canada is down bad right now. Canada is down bad. Bad. Like, cause what, like, this, this track, this, like, wow. <laughs> what is going on here, man? Fleas and crabs. She used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass. Nova Rockefeller. <laughs> Known for Rockefeller. She was a groupie over at Def Jam and a hoe at Rockefeller. Wow. You nerdy cuck. I wouldn't touch that dirty slut for 30 bucks. You're not even in the top 10 rappers. Your girl is fucked. Oh my God. She's vaginally infected. I'll get back to her in a second. First, I'm smashing you on this record. I'll punch you. Why are we dissing Nova? What did Nova say about you? As far as I'm concerned, is Matt, is Tom the one that took shots at you, not Nova? Why are we going after her? What does she say? Like, what's going on? 
vaginally infected I'll get back to her in a second First I'm smashing you on this record I'll punch you so hard you'll see three of me You'll say hi Dave Hi Dave, hi Dave Half your fucking fan base wishes they could buy slaves I donate my money to veterans Okay, what you want a peppermint? Don't complain about it, just do it Quit patting yourself on the back for the camera lens You're just Doja Cat for Nazis A feminine racist on every beat They call you an anti-woke rapper Cause your music puts everybody to sleep Fuck everything that your lame ass do If Dave Matthews had braids and a face tattoo And made a song called If I was a gay black Jew We would all be like, hey, that's you <laughs> Acting like you represent the blue collar working man Rocking army boots when you live in Woodland Hills And wear $5,000 Versace suits You'll never fuck with Mac Look at this blonde bitch Surrounded by shirtless African-American actors What you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? Your fans <laughs> cheer when planes fly over Gaza dropping bombs I'm a 52 year old soccer mom I hate rap, but you're awesome, Tom you're a fake fraud, poser, liar, charlatan, and grifter at heart You have no fucking dignity You'll do anything just to get on the charts <laughs> Bitch, I'm a star Man They always be like It's always right rappers that like have that persona about them it's people that don't even listen to rap, but they'll listen to rap when it's another white rapper rapping in that culture, which is okay. But. And then grifter at heart, you have no fucking dignity. You'll do anything just to get on the charts. Bitch, I'm a star, kicking these bars, burning his body, I'll rip it apart. Tom? Did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> Talking like you kicked down doors for the indie movement, bitch. You stole that same blueprint from rhyme sayers and strange. Nah, I gotta look at that post again. There's no way he said that or thought that. Down doors for the indie movement, bitch. You stole that same blueprint from rhyme sayers and strange music. I paved your. Bro, what? That was in 2017. Bitch, you stole that same blueprint from rhyme sayers and strange music. I paved your road, real indie since 01. Now I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm killing my own son. Now I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm killing my own son. Oh, you know what's crazy? If this was two years ago in the making, two years ago. Yeah, if this was if this was like two and a half years ago, I would have never got this. That's wild. I didn't think he was gonna say that. That's wild. That's wild. Okay, all right, all right, all right. This is this is this is getting dark, but we're gonna keep it going. Oh one, now I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm killing my own son. Mom. Nova, Daddy, here, Nova. Oh, man. Daddy, come here, girl. Sit. Aw, oh, good girl. Here's a treat. Daddy, here's the truth that you can't run from. No can do told me when I'm fighting monsters, don't let it make you become one. Your ego's too big, it's gotta be deflated. Trying to say political rap is a genre you created, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You ever heard of Ice T? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I disagree when when Tom said that because I don't know what Nova said. But when actually Nova does have a YouTube channel where she like reacts to like Tom's songs. So maybe she said something like within her reaction videos that she said, but I, I don't know. But Tom did say that he was like like the first that was talking about political rap, which that's that's not true. I he was like I'm gonna say he's like the first, like one of the first ones to like. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Because when Tom was doing like the whole political rap, he was doing it during a time where rap was at his lowest. So he like he kind of like put that back on the map again. He like he he made it like he made it like kind of like talked about again cuz pe people wasn't really on that. So that I agree with, but him him saying he's the first one, I can't I can't co-sign that one. 
Ice Cube, Immortal Technique, X Clan, or Public Enemy? Of course you haven't. You know nothing about the culture. Second Amendment, right guns coming about the holster. Put the pistol in your mouth. Name one song off of Illmatic before I pull the trigger. You want to be American so bad that you won't even rep your own flag. And now you're getting toe tagged on every single song. You use that same dead flow. Your girls like Emily Willis, a brain dead hoe. I should have known that you're a damn snake. The type of person that'll look right in a man's face and offer him a handshake. Call a truce, declare peace on the landscape. Then diss his family life just to entertain your fan base. On God mode, trying to rap like Jesus. But in real life, you act like Judas with pussy cat like movements. I feel like Caesar getting stabbed. He referenced God, God mode where he that's when um Tom took shots at Mac Lethal. I'm, I'm catching, I'm catching on. This is family life just to entertain your fan base. On God mode, trying to rap like Jesus. But in real life, you act like Judas with pussy cat like movements. I feel like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus. But I got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students. The YouTube diss tracks, they really ain't my vibe. Knox Hill will explain this. He mentioned Knox Hill. Wow. You act like Judas with pussy cat like movements. I feel like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus. But I got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students. The YouTube diss tracks, they really ain't my vibe. When I battle a rapper shit, I'd rather do it live. Hold on, I'll, what does that line really mean? Like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus. But I got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students. The YouTube diss tracks. I got whiplash, so drums make me slap my students. Huh. Maybe it's something that I don't know about them and that's what he's referencing to, but I don't know. They really ain't my vibe When I battle a rapper shit I'd rather do it live I'll bet 50,000 bucks To the charity of your choice That you won't look me in the eyes And put clarity in your voice And say the things about me That you said in all your diss tracks When I'm a foot away from you And you might just get bitch slapped Shit, we could battle on King of the Dot Your girl knows all those dudes She's seen all their cocks We could battle up in Canada Right in your hometown I'll let you pick the city And venue it goes down And I promise I'll get a bigger applause than We could battle on King of the Dot and then we could do this in Canada on your home like it like it, the the similarities between Kendrick and Drake of this whole beef is it's so crazy it's so ironic that Tom McDonald is from Canada Mac Letho is literally doing like this little breakdown I, I um um analysis on um Tom McDonald right now like kind of how Kendrick was doing to Drake this whole time it's Away from you and you might just get bitch slapped Shit, we could battle on King of the Dot Your girl knows all those dudes She's seen all their cocks We could battle up in Canada Right in your hometown I'll let you pick the city and venue It goes down And I promise I'll get a bigger applause than you Because in hip-hop There ain't a bigger fraud than you I went on tour with D12 Those dudes are my new friends They showed me some video you made for Eminem They told me they were in the studio with Slim When he watched it, he cringed And he cut it off 30 seconds in Eminem, Eminem cringed and turned it off 30 seconds in. Not D12. D12? my new friends they showed me some video you made for eminem they told me they were in the studio with slim when he watched it he cringed and he cut it off 30 seconds in eminem doesn't like you he does not respect you you made a love song about him begging him to peg you have you noticed that publicly he's never even mentioned it i'm sorry buddy i know that's not how you envisioned it you thought he'd call you like hey tom it's slim shady you're so controversial how are you this crazy you want to make a song about how transgender men are pretend ladies and all the live ladies having mixed babies mm. and how the Mexican border is being invaded by woke Palestinians causing inflation. We'll call it white boys part 12. It'll be awful. And the Grammy goes to Eminem and Tom McDonald. I'm sorry that you didn't get to do a song with your hero. At least you got to do a song with Ben Shapiro, the dude that censored Candace Owens views quick. And he said that rap music isn't real music. Yeah, I did hear about that, that <laughs> that Ben didn't respect rap music, and then he goes ahead and does a song with him. Kind of ironic again, but <laughs> hey, man.
And he tried to say the pussies aren't supposed to get wet. That song was so controversial and over the edge. I'm kidding. Nobody cares about your facts or your feelings. You make music for people that storm the Capitol building. You make rap tunes for white trash inbred people that snort crank in dirty ass gas station bathrooms. People that shoot AR-15s in classrooms. The AI images is going crazy, y'all. That never heard of Nas Del Wu or Black Moon. You make music for people that hate black dudes. People that huff gas fumes, got barbed wire tattoos. People that say the N word while playing Call of Duty. People that buy a case of Bud Light just to shoot it. Incels that are terrified of sex. And people that pay money to be verified on X. People that say, now normally I don't like rap. But this Tom McDonald dude is great because he ain't black. I rewrote this disc three times. Kept throwing out the verses. Punch lines weren't cut and it needed substance and some purpose. I realized I needed to try to cut beyond the surface. And instead of murdering you, maybe I could be of service. You constantly just brag about the ways you feel yourself. It's obvious you're losing your battle with mental health. Tried to fill the emptiness in your soul by getting wealth. But the money, fame, Louis and Gucci, it didn't help. You need to go to Balenciaga. Literally breaking, he's talking to him. Like Kendrick was doing to Drake, he's talking to this man. The similarities, bro, it's insane. Obvious, you're losing your battle with mental health. Tried to fill the emptiness in your soul by getting wealth. But the money, fame, Louis and Gucci, it didn't help. You need to go to Balenciaga and get a belt. Put it around your neck, kick out the stool, then kill yourself. You need to put a gun to your head, then drill yourself. Cause to yourself, you've never revealed yourself. I swear to God, I know record label execs that managed you, represented you, brought you a couple checks. They told me all sorts of shit about you. How you like to... To be continued maybe your best course would be to tread lightly Twenty twenty four is not real, everybody. It's not real. It is not real. <laughs> it is not real. What do we got here, man? Mac lethal with the how how would I say this? <laughs> like the the uh, atomic bomb. Of a diss towards Tom McDonald, man, and to Nova too, because he uh, he said some things about Nova I was not expecting in this whole song. But <sighs> this is a lot, bro. This this was a lot. This was a lot. What you guys think about this in the comments down below, man? You think it's worthy of a response? You you think this is a like a career career ending? He said a lot, bro. He said a lot. And th and like I said for him. The only t the tip of the iceberg. He has more in 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 store. He has more stocks in stock. Like like dude, bro. The country and Drake beef is so iconic for so many reasons, and this is one of them. You got YouTubers going at it, man. The, he, the, you got all the rappers that's not as big as country and Drake going at it, or that's like on the same level, but. Dude, bro. <laughs> Woo. You got people that haven't battled in in years coming back in 2024. It's a whole lot, man. But hey man. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments down below. Go to my Patreon where all of my unedited reaction videos will be at if you want to further support. Go to my cash app. It's in the link in the description down, down below as well. Um, everything's in the link in the description down below, guys. Um, <laughs> man, this this is a lot, bro. This 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 was a lot, bro. But with that being said, man, I love and appreciate every single one of you guys, and I hope you guys are here to stay. But with that being said, you guys already know this, man. I'm out of here, guys. <laughs>